What happens Wednesday may reflect on the Catholic Church and how it administers the Eucharist, the consecrated bread and wine. I recommend that we follow... Many bishops agreed in June to draft a teaching document on Eucharistic coherence. It'll be presented at the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops this week. What it really refers to is a continuity and consistency of approach from diocese to diocese in how to treat Catholic politicians who are in open defiance of core church teachings. By defiant politicians, they mean President Joe Biden, leaving a meeting here with the Pope recently. A devout Catholic who is pro-choice. All the American bishops agree that they wish the president were pro-life. They all agree that abortion is wrong. That's not what this debate is about. Professor Matthew Wilson of SMU teaches religion and politics. That's right. This came up when John Kerry was running for president in 2004. Uh, it has come up with regard to Nancy Pelosi. Right now, it is the bishop's discretion who receives the sacrament. That won't change. It is meant for those who come prepared and in good standing. But being president, Biden becomes a large target. By their example, they could lead other Catholics astray by suggesting that this is a permissible moral stance. Many argue the conference lacks any true authority. Practically nothing may change. President Biden will find Catholic venues to get the sacrament. Others say the decision is less about who can receive, but rather reaffirming why it should be received. And hopefully all this without entering partisan politics. In Dallas, I'm Joden Panik.